Aneka. Hey, I'm Yannick. And I'm Oscar. And we are Gerald Bowden. And you're watching Kings Side. Okay, so hello everyone. Chaos Sign is today here at the Riff Bar in Helsinki, Finland, and we, we have Henkka, Janne and Jaska from Children of Bottom as guests. So hello guys, how is it going? How has the year started for you guys? Thanks. Thanks, um, thanks for coming. Actually, you are our guest. Yeah. In your beer party. <laughs> In the beer party, yes. Thanks for coming. Um, the world has, uh, the year has started weird, like you know. Yeah, but we are beer. We are beer. <laughs> <laughs> so, as as you said, obviously these past few years have been quite different for all of us. But still, during these times, you have started. At least two of you have started new bands. You have Moonshot and you have Mercury Circle. So, could you first tell us a bit how is it going with your bands? Well, Moonshot started actually January 2020, and then it was already in February when pandemic. It was March, but yeah. It was March. But anyway, we, you know, we started in the bad moment. But then again, we got a lot of time to prepare everything and we just postponed everything and we have done everything super slowly and super carefully. And in a way, it's been actually pretty good for us if, if you want to have the silver lining. And, um, but yeah, now, now finally, things are looking to be quite normal soon. And we're actually getting on the road and hitting European markets in do you already have like a lot of new music written like after the debut album? Actually, yes, we do. But now we are still concentrating with uh, with, uh, with the concession album and, and we're going to tour at least this year with, with that. But yes, we have a lot of lot of good stuff already. Already we're cooking. What about you, Jasko? <coughs> yeah, uh, this uh, situation is quite bad uh, for us. And, uh, Of a bit. We were supposed to go, uh, supposed to play shows, but uh, I think uh, we're gonna just put this on the, on the next album and the new material this year. Okay, so that will be the focus for you as well to write yes. as much new music as possible. So obviously. You are the only guy who hasn't, hasn't like yet announced any new band. So, what have you been up to like during these past two years? Well, I've been studying. Um, so when the band ended, I was kind of, you know, uh, I didn't feel like music business was somehow very natural choice for me at the moment. So, um, my childhood dream was to become an architect. So I I applied into a school and, and I got in and I'm now studying my master's in architecture. Okay, how long will it take to actually graduate? Uh, it will take uh, three more years. Okay, and so you will be pretty busy with that? Yes, I'm very busy with that. Have you had like any kind of like band activity or, is it, or has no, it been well, just well, studying? He He's gonna mention that because he, he likes to put it out. But yes, <laughs> uh, me and my brother have slowly been, and, and my friend Snaker, but my brother and Snaker, uh, we've been slowly getting into writing songs and I'm working on my, my own band Warm and, 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 and it's going to turn out very different but but it's also um, yeah but uh, unfortunately my main focus on, is on my studies I want to get that over and done with very quickly but I'm also writing new music so you you have still some inspiration towards music for sure yes but when when Bodom ended you know it was so weird for me for a moment because you know, I did not know what to do at all, and, and, and I chose a path of studying a, a profession not relating to the music business. But of course, I love music. Of course, I love heavy metal music. You know, forever. So something I cannot avoid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's part of you. Yes, yes. So I, I, I mean, I kind of try to avoid it, but I can. So you know, I'm gonna. I'm also working on an album, but but kind of. Oddly and unfortunately, my, my studies are a priority right now. But, but you know, it's... Yeah, yeah, slowly doing yeah. something and when it's ready, you will announce it. Yeah, exactly. So obviously we are here because of this. And it's actually your second beer with Fat Lizard. So 
speaking about this, was it like somehow different process compared to Lake Bodom when it comes to like choosing the beer and? Well, when we started to think about making a second beer, which was actually, well, we actually been thinking about it for a while. But in a way, I was very happy when we, when the brewery was like, yeah, let's do it. Then we started to think, what what should it be? And it was quite obvious that it should be something IPA, IPA style. And and then the brewery was pretty convinced that we should do like a kind of a light, light, light colored and, and also light IPA. And then, then ever since the process was actually pretty similar. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah the, the, the good thing was is that the, we had a quite long process with the first one. Okay. Now now we knew how 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 we do it with the with the brewery. Yeah. So it was like, okay, let's do this with me and let's talk and do this the same things and so. The, Okay. Yeah. And it, it, it's one of the most natural things to come out. Um, the, 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 the brewery we found and team, teamed up with, uh, these are, they're kind of very similar to both of in all their mentality and how they work and they're from Espo and we're from Espo and, and it was somehow a very, very easy, easy uh, collaboration. Always. And I, I think the, the biggest thing in the process in both beers has been that we, the night when we, the brewery people and us, we sit in the bar and we, we test like 20, 30 different, in this case, IPAs, and then they try to figure out what are our favorites. And then that's how they based on how they, how they start to actually like um, developing the new beer. So, so, so will there be like several different sort of like examples and then you will try it out again to see which one is the best and that's the one that they will end up there was a couple yeah yeah there were prototypes well um we uh we tested what they uh, thought that it would be something like this then we tried it and then uh, you know said that okay maybe this needs to be changed and then they were like okay, yeah we think so too and then the next prototype and then so murder point was it easy to figure out the name for the beer no we had a lot of ideas we also had a lot of spare ideas for the first beer um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but murder point we mean it's the, the me and because it's yeah. kind of point in english yeah so um uh, murder point for us was somehow it was just um we all felt that because um, we had a lot of name ideas, but some of them were kind of borderline. Um, yeah, they, and anyway, at least we, we are, when we when we talk about Lake Bodom and the site, we always call it Sturdum, the special the special place, Murhanien. I don't know if it's, if it's like a word that everybody uses, but at least no, we use it. Our band always did that, yeah. yeah the yeah, place yeah. where the tent was, it was called the Murhanien. Okay. And then it's just a direct translation of that. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously the first beer that you launched was lager and now IPA. So what's actually like your own personal taste when it comes to beer? Well, IPAs, I love them, but also I like like uh, lager. But they're, they're two different types. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, um, but um, but it was this time it was good to to go for. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't make sense to make another lager. No, no. It, and when we started making the first beer, Alexey was still with us, and he was kind of involved a little bit. And then, but um, so he's not a big IPA guy. He was always a basic beer guy. Okay. Um, so that that guided us towards a, a lager in the beginning, and then, and then we made this like dark, very tasty lager, and we were all super happy about it. But now, um, also in the beginning, we felt that an IPA was too too. <coughs> <laughs> uh, to, to, um, you know, it was the hip thing, so we didn't feel like Bodum should do the hip thing, like the IPA. So that, that, that those things guided us into towards the lager in the, in, in, with, with our first beer. But now we we thought that it was kind of fine for us to do an IPA for a second round. 
because because we all apparently obviously we all all like bloggers and then one of the examples of Sam Sam Adams yeah everybody was like and, and actually Lake Bottom is very similar to what Sam Adams is so it was I think he did a really good job in the brewery he did a really good job in Lake Bottom yeah and this time this IPA like as a lager Lake Bottom is quite um, in a way extreme because it's quite strong taste and then again, this IPA is quite quite an easy easy IPA so it's, I think it's really really good combination of beer. Will you actually be shipping these abroad as well when you launch it, or what kind of plans do you have for the foreign fans? It, it's very difficult. We kind of looked into it you know, with the first beer, and, and those are some very very uh, huge. Uh, 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 I mean, I mean um, operations, and, and and especially for the US, we would love to get the beer of the US, and and we know that the only way to get it into the US would be. To have a local brewery do the same beer and then sell it in Europe. Okay. So you cannot import uh, in Europe. You can import, export, import, whatever. But um, yeah, um, um, those are such huge scale operations, and then we're still, you know, dealing with a, a, a Finnish craft beer uh, brewery. So um, it would actually demand. Uh, it, it would need for them to, you know, upscale their pro- whole production facilities to. To be able to do that, so yeah. uh, with the first beer, there was this system that you could order it around Europe and around the world. Um, I guess the cost was, you know, high, but still you could do it. Yeah, yeah. But but um, but but for official sales, uh, it would need a huge operation. Uh, okay, so there will be some on-demand product on the website to order, like internationally, if some diehard fan wants yes, it. Yes, yeah. On, on, that lizard. on yeah. that lizard. Yeah, yeah. But also, that um, Lizard is um, there are like for Houston on American pale ales, IPAs. So it would be stupid that for them to go to American markets to compete. To, yeah, to, yeah, yeah, to yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. They are bringing that uh, style here. Yeah, so yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, and, and one thing I did not know um, is that it's very diffi- difficult to import beer into U.S. Because I thought U.S. like everything is easy and they're so flexible and easy going with business and whatever. But they like making their own alcohol, so it's okay. Actually, yeah, yeah. yeah. And something I did not know. And I, w- and I mean, we thought, and I would think that there would be a big market for our beer in the U.S., but it's very difficult to get into that market. So obviously you have also launched like, for example, socks. You had some advertisements on. So do you have like a lot, lot of products in the plants when it comes to children of bottom? Yeah, I mean this is the first time we actually during our career that we have actually time to concentrate on the merchandise. Before that, the merchandise has been outsourced to some companies, and then they do, and then we we are lucky if we can even like confirm. T-shirt design. So okay. So now this is the first time we can actually, you know, put you are in charge of things, yeah, yeah. which is really really cool. We can approve everything. We can design it with the company, and everything is like coming coming through through our hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really cool. But unfortunately, the world is still full of children bottom bootlegs, as everybody probably knows. But but at least we are now trying to make real real things. Designed by us, done by us, and we have a lot of things, things, things still coming. Yeah, we ha- we have a lot of very good ideas, very very cool products still coming, and um, uh, I don't I don't think it's too early to say that Alexi was par- participating with us in some products that never came out before his untimely death, and you know, so we we have a lot of good things, um, and then we're doing this just for the fans, you know, it's not. I, I personally think that Silver Bottom was a very, very important band in its own genre around the world. And for us, it's just, you know, to still stay in touch with the fans and put out good products that the fans would appreciate and all that. And, you know, just celebrate the band because it was a great fucking band. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. And the brand is still important and uh, it's COB. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, and I, I think, I'm going to say it again, but I think it's very important that the fans know that what is what is the real children bottom merchandise mm. and that's what we are trying to 
That's what they're trying to do. Of course, you know, if you Google it's in the bottom, there's 95% of the stuff you get are not official. Yeah. Look at it. Even said bootlegs. But at least, at least there's this one shop that everybody can be sure that it's, it's the real, real deal. And that's, that's our shop. Yeah. So, I asked this like from Alexander Kuoppala a week ago. That since obviously Alexi passed away and, and, and obviously there was COVID happening, so there wasn't like any shows overall. But do you see it as a possibility to someday play like one of tribute show for him? Well, um, it's a tricky question. And then even the three of us, we have not really, you know, discussed about it. The um, way I personally feel about this is that Alexi would not like a tribute show. Alexi would like just Sean of Gordon playing a show. And even though he would be replaced, and which is a really hard thing for us, and it's a really hard thing in the whole world of heavy metal vocals and guitar playing, you know this. But, you know, um, so I, I know from experience with Alexi and going to tribute shows and, and, and stuff like that, that he wouldn't... So we, we had no passion to try to put together a tribute show to Alexi. Um, for Alexi. Um, we might play a show someday, and but I, I'm hoping that... I mean, who knows? I mean, this is a very... Yeah, yeah, time will tell in yeah, the end never, if it happens yeah. or... Never, never say never. Say never. never say never, but at the moment it's not in the maps. No, it's not. No. Yeah, it would be weird to play a tribute show for Alexi. Like you said, I'm pretty sure that he would not want somebody else to be there to play a tribute show for him. You know, like it, it would it would feel awkward to play a tribute show. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm not against if, if some you know, other people play children bottom music to to you know for his memory. But yeah, you seem quite supportive, like on social media. If some people share your covers, you share them quite easily. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. so in that way. Every, every time I see somebody, somebody, and this is encouraging every people, everybody, every, everybody shredding our songs, I, I, we always share them. So yeah. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. That's the best, best thing to do. That's, that's, that's the legacy. That's Alex's, Alex's music to live forever. Yes. Yes. But yeah, but, but for us, it would not feel natural to try to put, to put a show together right now. Hey, thanks a lot, guys, for Thank the you. chat and, and all the best for the future as well as for the launch of this beer. Anything you want to say as last words to all the all the fans worldwide who will be watching this afterwards? Well, yeah, we did not, I did not personally, I didn't know if it's going to be in English and worldwide, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, do you want to start? No, I'm just, I'm just going to I mean, I'm just going to say that it was supposed to uh, be an um, interview about this beer. Yes. So, yes. yes. Let's just celebrate the beer, celebrate yeah. the band, yeah. and um, a, lot of, a lot of good stuff, positive, really good stuff is coming up with Bodo and about Alexis soon, so let's all stay positive. Yeah, and it's, it's, it, it is our 25th, 25th anniversary this year, so, so let's, let's celebrate this too. Yes, yeah, exactly. Cheers. Thank you.